They call these trucks the Ford OBS, the old body style, the Aero Nose era, the Ford Square Body, all fitting names for this vintage machine. It was an era of boxy trucks. Automotive design had plenty of straight lines, sharp angles, and streamlined shapes. You wouldn't think twice about seeing one of these F-150s on the roads in the 90s. They were everywhere. But then, in 1993, the lightning showed up. With its color-matched front end and lowered stance, the first-generation lightning hinted at something sportier and more agile. Sure enough, Ford's SVT special vehicle team had fitted a single-cab, short-bed configuration of the F-150 with a potent 5.8-liter V8, high-flow GT40 heads, and a tuned intake manifold, amongst other things. The Lightning could get up and go. It had power, it had torque, and it maintained all of the towing capacities of the regular F-150. Simply put, this muscle truck had balls. The Lightning production numbers were limited. 5,276 units in 93, 4,007 units in 94, 2,280 units in 95 of which only 824 black lightnings like this one were made. That's about 5,000 units less than the Chevy 454 SS throughout their respective production runs. Their scarcity made them an exciting surprise to spot on the roads. They were like a needle in a haystack. I can't help but ponder what we'll think of these trucks 30 years from now. Will they simply fade into a forgettable distant past as mass-produced machines that Ford built by the millions? Or will they stand the test of time to become a timeless classic, a thoughtful manifestation of 90s muscle, the gifted brainchild of Ford's special vehicle team? Something tells me the lightning is up for the challenge. <laughs>